guys and welcome back to our channel O Shifts. So today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be resurrecting our spare computer. Spare computer that happens to have the name of Jimboala. Bethany, you might remember that. Sarah, maybe you do, maybe you don't. It's okay. But yeah, so it's a long story. It's a name that I've had for the computer for a while now. But um, this computer is our spare part build, I guess, streaming computer. We use it to stream literally TV and that's about it. Also, I guess if someone comes over, it's a spare computer for them to use. It can game, um, but it's not nothing serious. Uh, so basically what we think happened is the power supply kind of started frying things, kind of wanted to start touching electrifying things. It shouldn't. We thought that that might have been the issue when Junior was doing his build and his motherboard and CPU that were brand new the same day happened to shit the bed twice. So that was a fun story, but we never thought to replace the power supply. Now that the same things are happening in this computer, well, we know who the only culprit is, the stupid power supply. So that's gonna go get tossed in the trash or burned or something today. That'll be fun, but yeah, we're gonna be rebuilding it. So basically this computer build, it's from about 2011. It has a older Asus M5 motherboard. It has an older FX series, it's a 8350. We do still have uh, our GTX 960 in it and it does have 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM. So up until the power supply basically shit itself, it worked pretty well and I think Junior was playing like Battlefield on it. It worked great, didn't it Junior? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that, that was kind of a bummer. So um, basically I kind of got new parts for my computer and I decided, well, spare parts go into little, you know, worthy one of the spare parts. So what we got into, basically to put into this computer, is a couple of older parts that are gonna be reused from my computer back there and a couple of new parts that I got for it. So. Basically this case, this case I got in the summer, about July, it is a Corsair Carvid case. I loved the case, it's full RGB, it did come with two Corsair HD120 fans and also with the controllers for them and it does have a lightning node in the front of it. I obviously loved it because I was all for RGB but I don't know if you guys noticed, the case is a little bit too small compared to what I've got in the back. That was my upgrade. I went to a thermal take, um, full glass case. I love it. The tempered glass, it's tinted, it looks nice. This has also um, tempered glass on it, a siding that we have somewhere laying around on the side, but that's about it. And the front of it is also tempered glass, but it's just a little too small. It fits about six fans in it. That's all you're gonna get. It does have a nice power supply shroud covers all that mess behind while well, unfortunately my new case my power supply is all naked and out there but it's gonna get a couple more fans put in so we do have all what six of them yeah we have all six of the HD 120s we have the spare two over here the reason that they're not in it right now is because we ran out of headers on the motherboard to power them so I have a splitter for that so we could put that in and get the exhaust fans nice and exhausting out of there. Um, we also do have, so basically when I went to Micro Center for a new processor, I got the Ryzen 7 and I previously had the Ryzen 5 1600, which you can probably see on the side here. I had that in my computer, so obviously now that I have the 2700X that's in my computer, run like a champ, the Ryzen 5 can go into our trusty spare computer. Um, also what we have that's also a spare part is our Corsair Vengeance RAM. Uh, we have eight gigs of it, so that'll work well for it. That's more than enough that we're gonna be needing for this because it's probably not gonna do very much. What I did get new that I basically got for free with my Ryzen 7 is an ROG Strix B450F motherboard. This is brand new, can't wait to replace it. Um, 
We also did get an EVGA 500 watt power supply, 500 watts. Might seem a little low for some, but for what we use this computer and the fact that it has only six fans and a 960, it'll be more than enough for what we're doing with it. Um, so let's start tearing this baby down. Jimble all the way of all of its old contaminated sick parts we can start putting in the new parts so to start off with this is our new ROG Strix B450 motherboard this is the Ryzen 5 processor the 1600 that's what I had in my computer previously that's going into this one what I am reusing that I didn't obviously use on my build is the cooler from the Ryzen 7. So it'll have RGB because why the heck not? Um, I've got the three fans since I didn't decide to go with the water cooling and I wanted to use the air cooling. So I took the fan off the radiator. So I got three exhaust fans. So we have three intake, three exhaust, should be fine. Um, we got the RAM that we're gonna be putting in. We have our new power supply, it's a 500 watt. The old one was 650, so we're not losing that much. We'll be fine. And of course, the 960 that's going back in. So now we're gonna start by putting our RAM in. This is the Ryzen 5 1600. And we're gonna basically put it in, just you gotta flip the lever up. It has one corner, that's where you're gonna line up the gold triangle that's on the processor so when you just drop it in it should fit right and then you can close it and then it's installed next we can put in the ddr4 ram uh, ddr4 is a little different than ddr3 it has a notch in a different area so we just gotta line it up make sure that these are open which I think is just the one that opens. And just fit it right in until it clicks and that's it. Your RAM is now installed. Um, next, normally we were going to be using the liquid cooler, which required for us to add thermal paste, which we're doing the air cooler. That's a little different. Normally you would take your thermal paste and you would add a pea-sized dot in the middle of the processor and you would just leave it like that and then you would put your cooler on it. Since we're using the cooler from the Ryzen 7, it already has thermal paste on it. So we're just gonna install it the way it is. Now we just gotta make sure which way we're going to be installing this, which I believe it goes this way. It just has these little levers that you just gotta line up and then they snap into place. It's a gunboat, and for a workstation, it rated as a yacht. So, for the people that don't know kind of how they sum up, these are, I guess, basically the um, the ratings that they use. So, this is a speedboat that we have for the gaming, the yacht, and the gunboat. So, it's not that bad. Um, 
I know personally my computer is a UFO and then Junior's computer is a UFO and a nuclear sub. So I guess compared to the specs that we have for our computer to this, which is literally made out of spare parts, it's not ranking that bad at all. Considering it could be a lot worse. It could be a tree trunk. So there you have it guys. This is the old motherboard and processor that used to be inside of Jim Blala and that crummy, faulty power supply that I want to torch. And here is the new and improved Jimbalala that is working wonderfully as you saw in the benchmarks. The only unfortunate thing is one of the fans, I guess, is having an RGB issue. It spins. It's just no matter what port we put it in, it doesn't want to recognize. So that's the only downfall, but otherwise, it's all together. It's working. It'll definitely serve its purpose and yeah. Pretty much the only new things in here are the motherboard and power supply, which I'm okay with. They were cheap enough, I guess. So that's it for our semi-budget build, and we'll see you next time.